Hey guys, once again, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude here with another dinosaur toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dr. Steve Hunter's uh, Dig, Glow in the Dark Dig figs. So these guys are a Geo World product, and um, they, of course, glow in the dark. And from what it looks like on the back of the box, these guys come with a really cool stand, kind of like a museum type stand with them. And, um, they're 14 pieces each, easy to assemble, and I got them from the Dino Lab giveaway on Instagram. And Dino Lab is a really cool um, dinosaur and fossil preparing lab on Vancouver Island here in British Columbia, Canada. And I'm really excited to go visit them one day. Um, but for now, I get these really cool skeletons to put together. So let's dive right into these. Um, on the back, there's Spinosaurus, Velociraptor, Triceratops, Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus. So I've got two out of the six so far. And there's three Ice Age animals. We've got the Cave Bear, the Smilodon, and the Mammoth. Very cool assortment. These guys also come in different colors, too. So let's start with the Cave Bear, because um, I'm less less educated in Ice Age mammals, not really my expertise, but I think they're still really cool. Um, in Drumheller, Alberta, there's this tiny little fossil shop uh, near the big dinosaur. Um, if you've been, it's this large uh, Tyrannosaur statue that you can climb up, and they've actually got a cave bear skeleton in their little fossil shop, so every year I go, I get to see this really cool cave bear skeleton. So now I've got my own miniature version. Look at that. Very chonky looking boy. Um, got some information in different languages on the cave bear, when it lived, um, diet, etc. That's pretty cool. Um, we've got this skeleton, all the pieces inside. So let's move these out of the way. And we've got this base. Ooh, some pieces. And there's a little name, a little logo, label, sorry, in there. Or the front of it. So we got that out. And then here's a little plaque with the little name. Um, I think. How does this go? This goes like this. And you just peel the sticker and put that on. How cool is that? I always love museum stands. There's just a fascination with them, in my opinion. Not really a museum or a skeleton without its stand or some sort of display for it. It's got that old school museum vibe to it. Okay, so we get a little glow in the dark stand that we'll put on this. Um, so, first, obviously, we'll start with the rib cage. It's um, one of the most prominent pieces. I think we need a spine. We're kind of missing a spine there. Um, like so. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm sure we won't screw anything up, but who knows. I'm assuming this is a front and a back. No? Maybe it's this way around? Hmm. Maybe we need a neck bone. It might be a good idea to read the instructions. As a kid I always just winged it. Um, there's like not much to it with the amount of pieces. Um, there we go. So we've got a neck. We can snap that in. And the neck has a ball joint, of course, for that head. Something about it's not wanting to uh, stick in there. Oh, my phone's blowing up. Okay, so we just yeet that out of the way. Um, now let's try and apply the rib cage. Looks like we need a. What is this? pelvis. Maybe this goes on this? Wow, I... yeah, no, it's like this. There we go. And then this would attach to a butt area. Oh, I forgot. Mammals have tails. So there's the tail. And now we can attach this somehow. Okay, clearly, clearly, there must be something going on here. There we go. Ah, oh, instructions. Um, I was right, but 
but this needs to face, pelvic bone needs to face down like that. And I think we need to spread this and just kind of wiggle our way in. Come on. It seems to not want to go. Maybe from the top? We'll just leave that for later, why not? Um, let's go back to trying to figure out how the rib attaches. So, this is facing upwards, this little curve. So we'll just pop that in. I don't know if you're seeing this, but you can see the holes don't really line up too well. Perhaps I'm... No, I'm not putting it wrong. Is it too far forward, perhaps? Look at this. So there's a hole. There's a hole. And then... Oh no! It doesn't line up. Hmm. There we go. Found it. The sweet spot. What's weird on here... Okay, there we go. And it's set. And the neck popped out. Are you kidding me? There we go. Oh no. The neck keeps popping the side of the ribs out. That's not good. Okay. Snap that in. Make sure it doesn't come out. See, there's a little resistance there. Come on. Just stay in there. Yikey doodles. Okay, we'll just leave it kind of like that. <laughs> it doesn't need to be perfectly attached. Totally won't bite me in the butt when uh, I try and put it on the stand. So let's just put the arms on now. Um, got really big hands. Obviously for like, berry things like climbing or grabbing prey. This is a leg, I think. Is it an arm? Let's put it on and find out. Yes, I'm gonna say that's an arm. <laughs> okay, now time for the legs. So the legs connect through a pelvic bone, which I yeeted somewhere. Here it is. And this is kind of facing... What direction does it face? Where is the box art? Let's take a look. Facing out, like this. And it attaches back here. That's why I was struggling. It just kind of clips into a section of the tail. I was trying to fit it into one of the holes that the rib went into. Silly me. Okay. And let's pop those legs in. It's got some pretty long legs for a bear. I mean, not that I look at bear skeletons a lot. Um, so these guys would fit in. Oh yes, we lose everything. Very fun. <laughs> it's quite the challenge in many ways. There we go. Couldn't imagine trying to put together an actual skeleton uh, with like metal rods and stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to put this together with glue? Everything keeps popping out. There we go. I have a feeling like maybe I'm supposed to put together this thing with some sort of bond and I don't, I don't know. Let's just get this one over with and move on to the dinosaurs. Where'd the neck go? Let's, let's put the head on. And I have lost, there we go. Almost got away from me. So here's a cool head. Very interesting. Look at those teeth. Look pretty sharp. Um, so let's put this on around the neck. Won't make the same mistake with the ball joint. There we go. It's pretty scary looking. The eye sockets look pretty uh, alien-like. Okay, and now let's attach this jaw. This should just connect to these. There we go. And there is the skull. Okay, and now let's put this on like this. And we lost a leg. <laughs> um, neck again still doesn't want to go on there for some reason. It's not liking me very much. 
I wonder if I should title this video Brennan the Paleo Dude Struggles to Put Together Bear Skeleton. Okay, we've got it. Without the legs. Just a, a floating torso. Um, bear with me here, guys. We're almost through it. Oof, 10 minutes. That is, that is sad. Okay. Oh, come on. Another leg gone. I'll just put the legs in here. You know what? We're almost done. Okay. No! No! We've lost it. Let's just... Okay, okay. We're almost... Almost through. Almost through. We just gotta set this on. And we're losing the leg already. Okay, this bear... There. You know what? There we go. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's kind of balanced, which is nice. Um, you can see it comes with the stand on the bottom, looking pretty swaggy. And this beautiful skeleton, minus one side of the rib. <laughs> so let's move that off to the side and get around to the other skeletons. And man, am I loving that stand. I'll have to like make a mini diorama with these skeletons. It'd be so cool. Next we have the Spinosaurus. Look at that. So we'll get this guy out. And stand time. Man, I am addicted to these stands. So let's put that on. Bada boom. And let's get Spinosaurus logo on there. Like so. Boom. Kind of off. That's fine. And instructions. You know what? No instructions. <laughs> we will go blind again. Um, but it's fine. I've, I'm pretty sure I'm well in tune with how dinosaur skeletons go together. If you haven't seen yet, um, a few months ago on my channel, I made a video where a friend of uh, mine and I put together a Unanosaurus skeleton cast, and that was pretty cool. It was a fun kind of experiment. We were just kind of going by what we saw and from memory, and it was pretty cool. So if you'd be interested in that, I'll probably, at the end of the video, um, link that video um, to this, or however that works. Is this backwards? Backwards already. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see that, I'll just add it on the end of the video, so, um, if you stick around, uh, it'll be up there. Ooh, look at how long that tail is. Love it when they have long tails. Um, we all know Mattel, um, puts a lot of short tails on their dinosaur figures, so seeing figs with longer tails is really nice. Um, we got one more hip bone. There we go. And then these kind of clip together like that. And got the front claws. Look at those. Now, as some of you may not know, Spinosaurus is my favorite dinosaur. Um, I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I was like two when I saw the uh, Jurassic Park 3 movie, and that's kind of how I got into loving the animal. Um, obviously, not due to it being, you know, a Jurassic Park dinosaur and all, but, like, it got me into loving how fascinating this um, dinosaur really is with how much it's been through, its history, um, with its bombing in Berlin, and all the changes that have been made to its skeleton through different discoveries and oh, I can't get this leg in look at that yeah every new uh, discovery makes it a more and more unique theropod which I find pretty amazing uh, just a sh an animal of that size and 
all its different characteristics dedicated to its um, hunting and its lifestyle is pretty neat. I think now at the moment um, it's settled on being kind of like a, a stork, a big bird in behavior, which isn't surprising. Um, let's put this skull on. And here we go. This skeleton looks a bit like the one in Jurassic World, um, that scene where the T-Rex bursts through it, which is pretty neat. And I love the proportions, very classic to the 2000s. Look at that, very nice head, well scaled with the body. That is really cool. Next, we'll move on to the Stego, look at that, super cute. So let's open this guy up. Yo, the dude is real. Look at that. Paleontologist approved. Bruh, and he signed it. Well, I think that's just part of the print. That's really cool. Let's see what this says. Awesome, okay. Sorry, I didn't read it. I'm <laughs> I'll just expect you guys to uh, pause the video and take a look at that. <laughs> okay, stego time. Let's see the proportions on this. Okie dokie. So we, again, we've got the uh, really cool display. Just rip that out of there. Put the plaque on. Oh! <gasps> Look at that. They sit and they make like a, a circle. That is pretty wicked. If I get them all, I could make like a turntable piece with them. That would be so cool. Okay. Let's put the sticker on and get the skeleton out. The skeleton's looking pretty small. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh, lots of small pieces for legs. Fun, fun. And we're losing them already. Let's move this forward a bit. Okay. So, uh, oh. Okay, let's start with the plates. Those are wicked, look at those. Very iconic piece of Stegosaurus. Hopefully the, um, the design, like the body shape's a bit like the one at the Terrell. I really love the way that Stegosaurus is set up. It gives major nostalgic vibes. And hopefully I'm putting the rib cage on right. Maybe not. Don't want a cave bear part two. Huh. Okay, well, let's just put the tail on. <laughs> we'll leave that for later. And we got this uh, hip bone, pelvic region, where are we going to put that? Goes on here. No, wrong direction. Yes. Here. No. Here. Perhaps. Yikes. Okay, instruction time, yes. Uh, very sad. already having to use instructions. Okay, so it says the hips. Wow, okay. Um, that's not that helpful. <laughs> um, let's try, let's try this. There we go, we got one side, bingo. Okay, now let's get the other. Maybe it was just being stubborn. Yeah, it's just being stubborn. There we go already looking really nice, very decently proportioned. Um, now let's add this hip bone. Which way does it go? And the tail flew off. It just went by. It's absolutely gone. Yo, the hip. Hmm. It's not wanting to cooperate with me. Okay, so these two sections right here, see them? They point out back, 
going backwards from what I see on the box. But the real question is how? Oh no, never mind. I'm seeing things wrong. They point inwards. There we go. Haha, <laughs> I fixed it. And we got another one. Okay, so these overlap on the ribs. Like a so. Just gonna force it a little bit so they stay. Okay, now I can put the back legs on. Back legs are obviously longer than the front. So I got one, got two. Wow, this is a very wide model. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Very, very thick. Okay, so now we put the small little legs on like so. Got one more. Oh, they're so small. Look at them. Tiny little legs. Okay. We got a headless stego. Wow, I am loving the proportions. I'm. That is beautiful. Very beautiful skeleton. I've seen a few skeleton toys in my, my day, and this one is definitely one of the best. Oh, wow, my cat just emerged. Nasty. Want to be in the video? No? He really just ditched me. Okay. Anyways, so... Now let's put the little jaw on. Come on. It's like one of those weird internal ones where you gotta like clip it in from the inside. Yo, look at that head. That is sick. Very cool. Okay, so now we'll just apply the neck. Apply the neck. Again. Oh, okay. It went in. Jeez. The necks never want to cooperate. Okay. He's looking down. It's kind of loose on the head. Oh, nope. Fixed it. Straight. Oh, nope. Looking down again. Alright, we got him. We got him mostly built. We got the Stegosaurus and the Spino looking very, very cool together. And let's, at the end, just kind of attempt to help the cave bear. Um, let's just cross our fingers. Um, that'll just stick on by a hair and, you know, not fall apart, which it, you know, already is. Okay. All right. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. For the video. For the video. Man, it would be amazing if it would cooperate. Should have plugged in the hot glue gun. Hot glue probably would work quite well with these. Um, like, if you ever do face problems with plastic skeletons, hot glue is the answer. It comes off easily, and it sticks quite well. Um... <gasps> no! Okay. My hopes and dreams of uh, attaching that head are dashed, and I will never, um, never hope for that again. Oh, oh no. Well, okay, it's either the head's gone, or one side of the rib's gone. I'll just, um, glue that guy back together. Man, what a disaster. Okay, headless. Headless uh, cave bear. We're just we're just gonna work with it. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna work with it. Headless cave bear, yay! Oh, and now he doesn't want his legs. Or her, might be a female. I, uh, again, cannot tell. <laughs> so we'll just put the legs on. And the legs don't wanna stay. It's one thing after another with these guys. See, this is why I don't like mammals. They're they're just so hard to work with. I uh, maybe one day, maybe one day they'll uh, decide to be cooperative. But besides from that, um, definitely not my favorite. I know I'm probably ticking off one of my friends who is 
absolutely enthralled with Ice Age males. And, I'm sorry, they, they're just so hard to put together. Okay, I think I've got it, I think I've got it, guys. Here we go. Um, one leg decided to stick. Look at that. We got it, guys. We finally got it. There we go. Cave bear. Let's just put these like that. <laughs> so there we've got them. The Spinosaurus, the Stegosaurus, and the cave bear. That is wicked. I love those designs. Look at that. They've got half circle stands. I believe if I get all of them, it makes a full circle. Um, if this is three, and then there's like six, six more, two, four, four more, yeah, six more, and it'll probably make a full circle, which I really want to do now. It'd be really neat to make like a little, um, diorama of a museum with these. It might even be cool in Kenner scale, or probably smaller, smaller figures, but reg or besides that, um, really, really neat for shelf models as well. They've got this little image on the back here with these figures on the shelves and I can't wait to make space for these guys. So as some of you probably know, I'm moving to Alberta. Um, so I'm going to have more shelf space for the rest of my models as I've practically ran out of space here. Um, that or I just need to put some stuff in boxes. But yeah, these are going to look really sweet there, and hopefully I can get my hands on the rest of them now that I see how cool these bases are. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and all the struggles, um, and stick with me to the end. So again, if you want to see my other skeleton um, video, it will be here. I'll put it up in this corner. Um, and if you want to see more figure unboxings or reviews, maybe I'll put the videos there. Anyways, again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.